friend of mine became a big shot Hollywood director. He put himself in his own movies. Big mistake. My oldest friend Jack teaches acting in the valley to people in refrigerator boxes. He said the idea came to him when he was locked in a public bathroom for a night. Me, I own a laundromat. My best friend has four legs and cataracts. We had gone out to Los Angeles to change the world. And then we got hit smack in the face by something we hadn't seen coming. Fame. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh, damn it. I should be filling rooms oh, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck with it. the sweet smell of success. I'm a mess. Look at what I've been reduced to I don't blame you For saying no When you should have answered yes But darling, darling, darling Look at me now I'm a man I'm a mess, I'm a wreck I'm really on the deck I'm a mess Look at how I'm living Some of these days I'm gonna get back on my feet And quit this blue address But darling, darling, darling In the meantime I'm a man It had been all over the news for the last few days. My director friend Pete Smalls had taken the big swim. No surprise, really, the way he'd been living. I didn't really know how to feel about it, but I didn't have much time to think. I had some pressing problems of my own. I owed 10,000 to a guy named Nimmo. 10,000 wasn't much, but in the laundry business, it was a lot of dirty sheets. Hollywood headline has obtained new information regarding the drowning of world-renowned director Pete Small. No best for the slasher trilogy, Blood Bucket 1, 2, and 3. Mr. Smalls was survived by his wife, Julia Smalls, whose only comment to the press was, my lawyers will deal with my pain. Hollywood had loved Pete Smalls with all its heart. But behind the Hollywood sign, it's written that all the heart in Tinseltown could fit in the navel of a fruit fly and still have room for three caraway seeds. We had drifted apart. I hardly knew Pete anymore. We lost what we once had. We all lost something. But that was then, and I had to pay up now or else.
I didn't see it coming, but still, it came pretty hard. You get your almost blind dog back when you come up with the 10,000. It's all over the news. So you're coming with me? I, I, I can't. What? Why not? Uh, Nimmo beat me up and took my dog. Yeah, well, who's Nimmo? Lone Shark. He took your dog? Buddha? That can't stand, man. You got $10,000? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, well, you know what, Jack? Why don't you just send it oh, to no me? No way, no way. Yeah. Look, you come out to LA, you, you put Pete in the ground, I get you your money. That's the deal. I guess I had no choice but to take Jack up on his deal and head out to LA. Walking here? Hello! That's like seven or eight. He's got a lot of life left in him, Jack. Did you get the change? No, there's no, no change. change. No, no, it's even. Ten bucks. Come on. How's Julia handling all this? Oh, uh, Julia's a fraud, man. He and Julia's marriage was a fraud. How's your blood pressure, Jack? Why you bring that up? I'm perfectly healthy. California healthy. You want to wrestle? I'll wrestle the shit out of you. It's not too good up hills, is it, Jack? I love the hills, man. Keep me in shape. Just enjoy the view. 
gonna be rolling in dough, you and me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, rolling. It looked like Julia had taken the opportunity to turn Pete's death into her own art show. She was always looking for some way to express herself. Julia. Yeah. Put the contract in. I'm going to say hello. No, no, no. Not that prick next to her. That the hell was our Pete's producer. They're fucking. I'm going to comfort her. No, 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 no. Comfort me. You brought the world's biggest leech with her. No, 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 no. They'll be gone soon. Hey, I says, take down. Be careful, you know. Come on, we're here for Pete. For Pete. Hey, man, I brought you some M&M's. I know you like the blue ones. I like the orange. Jesus Christ, it says no touching. Can't they read? What do they do to him? Yeah. Looks like old Pete's made of marzipan. Weird. Give me a hit of that. Oh, shit. Walk my Pete, help. It's a fake. It's a fake. I came to be a friend, not a toy. Get away from him, Jack. <laughs> Where's my friend Pete? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, everybody settle down. This is a family matter. Calling the police? Go ahead. Uh, Call <laughs> It was really nice work, Julia. You know, you smoked all your friends to the bone, and now you're back in town. Why? Jack really loved Pete, you know? Jack is fucking crazy! This town has no love for you, you see. As far as you, let's stay away. Well, I'm uh, just passing through. I'm gonna get my dog back. That same dog? I always thought that dog was the best thing about you, Casey. Julia said you can see Pete. And she made the hit. I know, it didn't look a thing like him. Can I, uh, get my money now? Why, why you gotta ask me that all the time? What, what? Well, okay, yeah, after we see Pete. Get hysterical. Ah, uh, he'll be fine. Close sticks. I'm not fucking camping, Jack. It's not an expedition. All right, all right. You know, KC. Pete stole your screenplay, man. I know, it sounds nuts. It sounds really nuts. And I should have told you before, but I had to get you out of the laundromat so that you could see what this fat slub of whale blubber really was making a mess of out here. I never wrote a goddamn 
kung fu script, Jack. All that chop suey shit that was all Hal Schmucko's idea. You get me out here with your I'm gonna get you your money shit. You're lying to me. He showed up at the airport on that tinker toy, I should have known I was in trouble. Jack was the prince of all tomorrows, but I needed my dog back today. You're lying to me. No, I'm... You're lying what, to me. What, was I supposed to tell you the truth? You would have never come. You'd still be waiting for Buddha's paw to come to you in the mail, man. Lazar should end up with your script. Look at this. Look at this. Come back. Come around. Look at that shit. Look. Oh, Are you God. seeing it? Can you see it? Yeah. You know what? People fuck people in Hollywood all the time, so what? I got a lawyer. He says he's got a financier partner. He'll buy Pete's film for something over cost. That means we got Hal Lazar over a barrel. You know, this may be a chance for you to get back on your feet. Ten years? Don't you think that that is maybe just long enough? I mean, the way you walk around with, like, bad luck as your only friend, she would have never wanted that. So when are you meeting these big shot Hollywood guys? Tomorrow. I need proof it's to my script. Pete's editor proof enough? There is one thing. What? She's French. Je te tiens, tu me tiens par le babichette. Le premier de nous deux qui rira aura une tapette. Un, deux, trois. You have Boo Boo? Yeah, Boo Boo. Wait, wait, what? Bon, come. Oh, wait, wait, where are you going? Uh, first, I must take care of him. Are you going to show Casey some film? like it? It's nice. You keep it. Please keep it. Sorry. Now let me see. Your script is beautiful. Is it my script? Yes, of course. It was torn to pieces for what he did. He loved you, Casey Monk. More than a man should love another man. So what did happen to Pete that night? On the set, he was a wild, wild man. 
he was to play the Kung Fu Master Sui. He was filled with fat at this time. And the crew laugh at him. And he makes him fire. Jacques, please, shut your mouth when you speak. I'm not supposed to have persons in here if I'm caught with you. I'm in trouble, bad. Get him, get him done, what's up? The last I saw him, he wandered down the beach, mm. I think, to swim. You think? I think, to swim. I should have never left him alone. Motherfucker, Jacques! Who the fuck is Jack, sugar tits? Uh, just a minute, Monsieur Bob. He's fucking someone here in the editing room. You. I'm so the street. Totally empty without my clothes. I am ready to cut the shit out of this shit, so wipe your ass, but don't fuck your hands. I'm ready! Go! I'm wiping! Oh! There we are. I was just going home, Monsieur Lazar. My ass is home in the editing room. Just sit, please. Just sit. Angel, come on. It's all right. I want you to cut everything with the fat priest in it. You can't be serious. I've got an 18 million dollar movie that nobody wants to buy. So, yes, I'm serious. <laughs> If Jack and Sasuke were right, and Pete had stolen my script and shot a movie from it, then it had to be worth enough to get Buddha back. That woman is really something. Don't get too worked up. She's in love with Pete. Pete's dead man. But she's gonna mourn him for the rest of her life? Usually it takes more than a week to get over the death of someone you love, Jack. Wait, hold up. Let me get that card again. I think there's potential. In fact, I know there is for something between us, you know, underneath. Do you want the card? Casey? Yeah? I can't be at mom's. Huh? Dad, I'm in love with Aaron. We're gonna live together. Who's Aram? I don't know who Aram is. Like, I mean, it's like last year you gave out Valentine's Day cards to like 50 different guys. Dad, I've had my period. Oh, yeah, I, Lover guy over there, hiding behind a tree. Is he that Armenian kid? Yeah. Let me tell you something about Armenians. You know that country is right next to Greece. And if you know anything about real homosexuality. Oh, Dad, believe me, Arab. Hey, hey, not... hey, hey, hey! God, it's like yesterday. I you a beautiful princess dress. Now you just want to take it off. You're still my little baby girl, right? Even if you're gonna get married now? <laughs> Arm and I are not getting married. 
No. No. Thinking, Casey. Maybe that loan shark of yours will take less. Maybe it'd take like four, four and a half grand or something like that. If I don't pay rent, I can get that together really easy. Okay. What? Your producer guy and his lawyer have their own money, right? Man, oodles. Oodles, piles. Tons. They capitalize, I swear, around town anyway. You know, I'm really glad you're here. Do you ever fool around with Julia? What? Do you ever fool around with Julia? Once or twice. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> I don't think I could ever be that mad at my dick. <laughs> Go to sleep, Jack. Have a boo boo. Hey, you have a boo boo. You have a boo boo. You have a boo boo. <laughs> Pete has a boo boo. Tommy has a boo boo. Doggy has a boo boo. <laughs> Pete has a boo boo. to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. So Jack and I went frog kissing. Ask. Ow. Oh, I told you it's clear ah. as soon as the medication kicks in. Oh, Bernie, Bernie. 
Hey, how's about an avocado sour? You know I don't eat that greasy crap. Lenny owns an avocado farm. That's why he's always pushing them. I'm gonna get some air. Anyway, it is terrific to meet you. I'm a huge fan. Shauna, say hello. This is my assistant, Shauna. Most people have two names, Bernie. Well, most people aren't like you, Shanna. You can ask my wife about that. I'm gonna get some air, Jack. Is there a problem, Lenny? Did you say something off color or something? Lenny, what happened? What the fuck? No, not a word. What okay. are you talking about? Well, look, he can be a little uncooked sometimes, but oh, listen, but between us, we have produced over 48 pictures. You want the titles? I'm gonna step out. All right, whatever. Hey, I'm a fan. I get it. I can go with it. But the bottom line is, Pete Smalls is a genius. And I want this film. And I will pay whatever it is, up to 20 million. Don't you? Bernie's in love. OK, listen. We're going to move the money from an offshore account, OK? But this has got to be for domestic and worldwide rights. Kabish? No problem. All right, Shanna. What? Run outside. I want you to ask me nice. Please go outside and inform Mr. Smalls that we are finished with the bullshit business and we can get back to some serious fucking oh, around. Oh, 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 Bernie, wait a minute. That's not Smalls out there breathing in the parking lot. That's Jack's partner, Monk. Casey Monk. You know. You know? No. What the fuck? You told me I was meeting with Pete Smalls. Don't blame me for this fuck up, asshole. See, this is what I get for hiring a pair of tips. You know what? Fuck your job. Try fucking your hands, then try fucking your wife. Hey! That was rude. I think, I think there's been a misunderstanding. No, no, no. Don't worry about her. She's just another fucked up kid who wants everything right away. You guys understand. Pete Smalls is dead, right? I didn't know that. What do you mean, dead? You mean, unfinanceable? He's dead, like funeral dead. Why am I sitting here if Pete Smalls is a washed up dead corpse? Sorry. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you why you're sitting here. You're sitting here because dead and dead are two different things, you follow? You better start making some sense, lawyer brains, because if Pete Small's name is not on this film, I don't want it. From the grave to your living room, Pete Small's speaks from the beyond. Hmm? That's good. OK. Let's say I like Pete Small's being dead. Let's say I get it. And that's got to knock off a few million, right? Is that fair? That's good. I'll get, I like whatever you guys think. And we'll do an ad campaign. All right, get this, watch. Pete Smalls, the director from Behind. Beyond. OK, let me finish. The director who refused to die. It'll be like an Elvis thing, you know? Like, okay. maybe there's been That's some good. sightings. That's right? good, Elvis. Whatever you guys yeah. think is. Yeah. Pete Smalls is dead? Mm, I don't think so. I, I, I saw him at Ralph's last week. You did? <laughs> You said they have money, Jack. I said they have access to money. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who paid for the coffee? Now, Bernie is hot on the idea that Pete's dead. And I can get these guys to buy that film from Lazar. And then we finish it. You know what? If I go to Lazar and ask him politely as I can for the $20,000, that's it. 20,000 shit-ass dollars. Half of which is yours, $10,000. But me, I'm going to go home. I'm going to get my dog. Where are you walking to? Huh? Later.
I'm gonna get your money. I'm gonna get you your money, and you just gotta promise me one thing. That you stick around and see this through to the end. God fuck it. Oh yeah, where are you gonna get me my money now, Jack? Look, look, Pete hooked me up with his uncle Sacco. He's got a garage, he lets me teach there for nothing. This guy, he is loaded. He doesn't just fix mufflers, and he loves dogs. If this doesn't work, we go to Lazar. Now get on. Come on. Come on, get on. Jack took me to a garage on the corner of Argyle and Vine where someone had stuck a fig tree in the ground and named the 10 square blocks east of the 101 Little Armenia. I live over there, and my engine is stinking on my piece of shit auto. And you? Um, Jack's helping me get some money so I can get my dog back. Sounds like this dog is very important doggy. Yeah. Come, come. What are you going to come do? Come follow me. About what? About the rape of your work. I don't know yet. When you know, give it to me. His dog. Jack, please, don't explain anymore. You'll never see it come up again. Jack, I beg you. Too many words become teeth that tear your heart. You want your dog back? Get to talk for you. How? Why you talk to me like an animal? Maybe you don't believe me. My dog is sick. I say I get your dog, I get your dog. You understand me, Casey Monk, man to man? I understand. Okay. Good. Now we talk more seriously. What do you know about women? They have teeth. They have teeth, yeah. They have teeth that bite you. And they bite you everywhere, and you like that bite. Bitey, bitey. <laughs> I like it. You're a filmmaker, though. And I talk to you like a filmmaker. I'm not a filmmaker. I was. No was is. You make me a love film, I get your dog. I promise. What kind of film? A love film. What kind of film is that? Love. Love that burns your brain. And the more you look at it, the more it burns. And the more it burns, the more you want. Not that you pick out your dog, huh? Not that you pick out your beauty dog, no. Close. No. Hi. Why are you dancing? Because I want to. He's talking about a porno film, Jack. He said love. It's a... He said love. Pornography. He said love. You're such a naysayer. We're going to Lazarus. With Jack's heart as our GPS, we were lost. <laughs> Being lost with him was OK, but if I let him know I felt that way, I was afraid he would take me in that scooter and head straight for the moon. Twenty thousand. 
Are you threatening me? Pete never owned the rights to the script. So that amounts to stolen property. So I... Can you shut up, Jack? In case you... I would never start a movie with an overweight, strung out, washed up, egomaniacal director with the right. You're bluffing. All I want is the 20 grand and... Blah, 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 blah. Knock it off, Casey. You gave Pete your screenplay at Odessa Restaurant. The hell I did. He did. He paid $150 for your rent, so you gave him your screenplay. Oh, and as I recall, you also kissed him for it. Come on, what is this, Julia? That's a bunch of shit. $150 was a lot back then. Wasn't it? I got like 1,800 bucks meant for Zan's college. That's not gonna do it. Jack was a human mood ring, and I think he was about to turn purple. He had everything riding on this, and it had been pulled out from under him by a greasy napkin signed at the Odessa restaurant 15 years ago. I just wanted my dog. Jack had wanted a lot more. I was thinking about Buddha, but I was also thinking about Saskia. I couldn't see what she saw in Pete. I know movies were like religion to the French, and to them, Jerry Lewis was a god. But still, to work so hard for Pete, he'd gone soft long ago. Maybe she knew something I didn't know. I'm sorry about your dog, Casey. You got nothing. I'm sure everything will work out okay. You think so? Mud ball. Sure. How slick you are when we put this on the nip. God, what is he doing? So, why are men like diapers, Casey? I don't know why. Because they're always on my ass and full of shit. One of these is yours. Sure looks like someone needs help. Porno's addictive, Dad. What? I thought you were in the shower. Don't worry about it, Dad. Arm and I have seen those already. Twice. She's a good kid. There's a bond of trust between us. It's the trustworthy ones you gotta look out for. What's this? You got one, too? Well, why didn't you tell me? I didn't know what they meant. It meant that Pete was in deep shit and needed our help. I don't think Pete sent them. Well, then who did? Of course I did. I did every job for Pete. Ah. You look at this shit. Ura. Now I destroy this film. You sent both these cards. He give me three cards. Go, well, I send them. What, th what three? These and Joey something. Joey Salsa. <laughs> Joey Salsa? Salsa? Joey Sousa? Okay, Joey Sousa. Fat Joey, we called him. The four of us used to kick around New York before we chipped in to get him an airplane ticket to come to L.A. L.A. hadn't treated him so good. He ended up in a motel watching TV and getting Jack to drive him to the methadone clinic once a week. Joey? Joey! Don't worry about Pete. Pizza delivery! I'll Fuck yes, get, get in I'll here! Get, I'll get. All right, Joey, look. Find the pizza. Problem is, why you here is KC signed this In that drawer. You're stupid. That's up in the drawer, a yellow envelope. Have a nice day. KC. Kate. Yeah. Come here. Come here. He got it, Lazar, man. It says, Pete says, the, the, the thing was, it's your, it was your original screenplay. Right there, notarized. Got the fucker. 
Where did you get this paper, Joey? Pete was your friend, Casey. And when he comes by, all fucked up like he was, and he gives me an envelope. I don't say nothing. So the director from beyond reached out of the grave and gave us life again. He had turned the rights back over to me and threw that wrinkled napkin in the trash. Tuesday nights out in the valley, you know, maybe you want to stop by for two because after that attic movie, Jack, come he just in started there. acting with you. Oh, what? Um, yeah, you know, but uh, the name is, the name is Games, Jack Games, that's in the book. like you want to negotiate. That's a good choice. Hmm? Hmm? Sign negotiation. Look, where does Pete Small's picture is a mess. Jack is a guy that's going to cover the cost of the negative. And these guys are for real. Listen, you come to me and you bring $60 million personally and we'll have something to talk about. That's good. Okay. Good. That's sorted out. As a rule, I don't like looking down at people. I like eye to eye, so bearing that in mind, I've either got to get down on my knees in front of you or I have to have Alfie here get you up on the... Oh, I could do that. I could do that. In the future, I could do that. Yeah. I don't get on my knees for... Bob, give Mr. Monk here $10,000 for his... Right now? I don't. It's what you want, isn't it? Man, I only, I only have 500. Uh, how about it be like 500 mad money and we'll do the rest in a check? Is that cool? Go get another dog. I'm around the cream rises to the top. Oh! You're a waste, monk. That was it. I think I can put it back together. I meant the finger. What? Oh, we don't, oh, that over there. What are you doing in there? You offered me money. I'll see you later. Oh, thank you so much, baby. Thank you. And what'd you do? I punched his fist with my stomach. 
Ow. <laughs> I used to do in business. Did you hear him say 16 mil? I heard your finger snap. I had just turned down the 10 grand that would get Buddha back. Was I stupid? Was I back to my old ways of saying no to people who I didn't like? Let me do the talking. I get the personal connection. Yeah, yeah, what? What do you want? We got the Pete Small deal. Lennis Chico and his Chihuahua here with some deal. Look, look, I'm being a I don't want to hear any more bullshit. Come on in, guys. So we were back to kissing frogs. Fuck you! Have a seat. So look, smallest picture is a go. My foreign guys like it. That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. Look at this. What's this? Of the contract that says that KC owns the screenplay that Hal Lazar never purchased. Well, who's Lazar? Hal fucked on Lazar. He owns Small's picture. Well, word is, needs a little tinkering. Yeah, maybe it needs a little work, but, but this says that he does not own the picture for free and clear. Dr. Fine, paging Dr. Fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, good. Then uh, penis tongue will sell to us real cheap. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go in the back and make a call, so I'm gonna apologize in advance. Surgery, Doctor Fine. Len here's gonna take care of all the details, all right? You gotta forgive him. He's got a weakness for the fat clam. <clears throat> it drains him. He's unable to concentrate. It's my opinion that sex with women is for fairies. So when do we get our financing? Fuck you! say that with all the love in the world. All you guys have got to know is that the money is good and that we're financing pictures. Ow! Ask around if you don't trust us. Yeah, go ahead, Lee. I fucking hate you! Ow! That's the best you can do, sweetheart? Wait, wait, where are you going? Oh, don't worry, she'll be back. Ah, back. It's this twisted little game they play. They call it that hurt. It's uh, some kind of sick fucked up torture routine that keeps them hot for each other. Oh, right, really? Okay, yeah, but what about our deal? It's Buddha. What? Buddha? It's Buddha? What? What is he, on acid? Where are you going? Thanks. Buddha! Boo-boo! You go fucking bananas! Hey, Buddha! Hey, open up! Saku! Hey, come on, I'm not fucking around, man! Come on! Something stinks, Stacy. You live across the street from Sako. Everyone has to live somewhere. But he said he would help me get my dog. I just saw my dog. So what? Par hasard. It's not about that. It's not about your doggy or your postcard. Merde. Dun, 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 dun. I needed answers, but I couldn't understand a word of what she was saying. Her eyes were telling me something, something I hadn't heard in a long time, something I probably should listen to. What do you think? About what? The time canned, fucked beyond words. I refuse to let this sadist pig use Pete's name to make this love movie. So I'm thrown out. What did he call it? 
love movie. Lazar knows nothing about love. He called it a love movie? We have something in common. You and I. We have nothing to lose. Was Lazar connected to Sako? If he was, who had Buddha? Eskimos have 500 words for snow. The French have 500 kinds of cheese. And all I have is 500 kinds of questions. I had to find my partner. I'd left him kissing a frog. Jack. 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 Are you okay? Say that again. Quoi? Are you okay? Let's fall in love. Let's get so bad. Mm. Jaco, you want TKO? Who is the woman? Only you, baby. The photo with you and Pete and Casey. It's Jill. She is beautiful. Yeah, she was all that heaven will allow any man. Lucky shrimp, she chose him. Casey was a lot of fun back then. The two of them together, they could light up a room. Felt like if they were a light you could steer by. What happened to Casey's family? She got sick. And she died. It was slow. Skip right out of his step. When was this? It's been ten years since I saw that man smile. All he's got left from her is the dog. <sighs> okay, here's the plan. We take the only thing they care about. The movie. Ooh, the man has a plan. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, baby. Does your pass key still work? Voila. We needed a car to transport the negative. And we needed a way to get in the lab. Aram's day job would provide both. Everybody loves pizza. And Aram said Panda Pizza was the best. Pizza, huh? Uh, I'm a delivery for the optical room on the second floor. Oh, hello. Hello there again. How are you? Just make it fast. Look. I'm in the deep shit slide. I need the big help. Well, you're looking at the best big help there is in Hollywood. Bon. No cameras. Let's get the negative. Get out of here. What are we looking for, Casey? Something with Pete Small's name on it. Now hurry up. What's uh, what's going on between you and Sasuke all of a sudden? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing to me. Jack, you're my best friend. Don't you think you'd know if I was nibbling on Sasuke's ear? Would you tell me if you 
Ne bon on area? No. And, and I'm not, okay? I'm gonna help you any way I can, sweetheart. You just tell me what to do, and Papa's gonna help. No, what did you do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. Just deleted a couple of credits. Look, why did you say you were nibbling on her? Right. For fuck's sake, Jack. Maybe I didn't say it, but I didn't do it. And if I were you, I'd be more concerned about why Zan and Aram are being so quiet. Aram. Aram. <laughs> what? Gotcha, Daddy. Ah, credit screw-ups, they happen all the time. Do they? Well, not all the time, but you know, Daddy's gonna fix everything. As soon as Bob gets back from his break, we're gonna go and get some mango margaritas. My treat. Margaritas fix everything. <gasps> Ever since this disaster, my heart is jumping in my breast. My bosom. Oh, yeah? <laughs> like I can't breathe. Can you feel it? Yeah, I can. Oh, Sly, I feel mm -hmm. so safe with you. Mango margarita. How do you say margarita in French? I must go. Now that we had Pete's negative, Saskia was happy, but Jack was freaked out of his mind. It's taking him so long to find out. I didn't think you'd be itching to deal with Fucker Lazar again. Jesus. I want Jack Kent's bolts! In my mouth! I could have had those fucking tapes. Hey guys. Oh, I gotta find those tapes. Any news? All well, it says is something about an insurance claim. Where are they? Where? They're not here. Tapes. They're gone. They've been here. I knew they'd be here. Aaron barred them, Dad. Why? You get them back? Oh my God. Fucking Lazar is claiming lab negligence and that the bond company is going to cover the cost of the negative. I can't do that. Where are you going? Hey, wait up. I got something you want. Ooh, she better be 18, slightly boyish and willing. We got the small negative. I wouldn't say that too loud if I were you. Somebody making an outrageous claim like that might get a lot of attention in a town where people have been known to say anything for attention. Play some, it's really good. No thanks, you know how they make it. I want my dog. Your pooch still missing, is it? It seems hardly uh, fair that I'll get my insurance money and you're still out of the dog. Too bad you can't collect on a dog like you can on a film. <laughs> Shut up, you little twit. They can't get away with that. A high-strung nut girl succumbs to the pressure of editing a big money picture. Yeah. You can her ass. She runs around destroying everything in her path. Mm -mm. That's the lab story, and it just it sounds right to me. I gotta say, every time I think about that chick, I gotta 
fucking take a walk around the block. Look in this on Saskia and collect on the insurance money. You better find that hot-headed Armenian chick before the cops do. I thought she was French. French, French Armenian. She was gone. Someone had picked her place clean to the bone. She had nice teeth for a dirty French girl. You know what I mean? Sure. She paid the rent on time, which is unusual in this building. I mean, I have to eat too, right? Yeah, we all gotta eat. I wouldn't worry about me. I got a dead husband, plenty of money. Some people find that attractive, men and women. I have a lot of friends. She probably took off in the middle of the night. I mean, nobody heard so much as a peep. <clears throat> Must have had relations with hundreds of men. Well, you know, French, young, good deep. You fill in the blanks. What are you looking for in there? I went through there already. Like I say, I have the deposit check. But um, since you boys are relations, maybe I could count on you for the utilities. Sako had packed up his operation and lit town. He had Buddha, maybe the film, and Saskia too. That's illegal for your information. Like your stupid guy, know what I mean? So anyway, where do I send the bill? So I'm scared the girl. Yeah, and you? Where did you first meet her? Saskia? Sas Sako's garage. <laughs> And Fat Joey, what was his name before he became Fat Joey? Joey Saroyan, Sor I think. Before he was Fat Joey. Fat Armenian Joey, right? Armenian? Right? I don't know. Fat Armenian Joey, who never left his room. Gone. They are. So you're saying... He got in trouble with some Armenian secret society. Yeah, whatever that is. They could be after us. Who's left? Down like that. Aram, I told you not to call me that. Hey, hey, how about a little land of separation here? You know what I mean? Hey, what? Looks like the deal fell through. <laughs> Who said financing films was supposed to be easy? What? Oh, come on! Let's go! Too bad about Len and Bernie. They were the only people I knew who got arrested attempting to break into Mexico. That's crazy. Where are y'all going? Uh, to the town of Flores. Hey. Thank you. her pee and I can't. Long enough to call you daddy. Maybe I can get them some food and they stop chewing on each other's faces. Uh, better make it spicy. Uh, muy picante. Gracias. 
Okay, well, there's only one real road south, but I can't find Suarez anywhere. I don't know, man. Just keep looking. You like Mexican? Oh, I love it, Dad. <laughs> What's this guy want? He says he knows where Juarez is. Really? Oh, me recuerdos a mi mujer. Con ese cabello, con ese pelo, todo lleno de mosca. Sé que a mí no Juarez hacia allá. Hay un panteón. Yo voy a invitar a mi primo para allá, pero al panteón yo llego y orino a la tumba de mi mujer. Porque ella se fue con un carnicero, me dejó por un carnicero. Ruedas en la mano con la brisa del mar. Jack still wanted to find the film, but I'd long given up on that. I just wanted answers, and I'd hoped she was there to give them to me. <laughs> Somewhere. Maybe you should go and see if they got any rooms for tonight. <sighs> Do you speak English? Claro, sometimes. You know this place? Mr. Moon, I have rooms for you and your friends. Do they have cold beer? You, Mr. Jack, and you, Mr. Moon. I have someone for you to meet. Come, come, come. <laughs> hey! Sacco. He bring him here. And he paid me a lot of money. And he said Mr. Mook will come for him. Sacco, is he here? No. Is there a girl? No, no girl. Sako had got me my dog back, and I was grateful. But why Mexico? To make a love movie? Hey, boo -boo. Every man should know the love of a good dog and the love of good tequila, mi amigo. Salud. 
la primicia secreta del nuevo escándalo de Hollywood en torno a la muerte sospechosa del cineasta Prince Morris. Se sospecha de Al Azar y su relación pecaminosa y amorosa con la señora Los medios hablaron de que this bad man make love to the dead man's wife and he made the dead man dead maybe <laughs> not for him <laughs>
I think it's too much. I think it, I think it might be a little tacky. In your phone. I think someone stole my keys. Wait a minute. So Pete had cooked this whole thing up to destroy a film that embarrassed him and gotten Sasuke and Joey to cover for him. Wonder how many other jams his uncle Sakyo had gotten him out of. Like her. Why would she think that? Because you're a stubborn fuck who doesn't know what's good for him. Hello, ladies. Hey, hey, hey. You. You pass my stuff off to the news. Hey, don't be mad at him, Dad. Look, I'll take it to you in a minute. Did you? Good boy, son. Pete always liked to make a big noise. And this time, he'd outdone himself. There was one person other than myself who wasn't very impressed. You mind if I sit? As you like. Why the sad face? Pete got what he wanted. You should be celebrating. Please, Casey, don't talk like this to me. Pete was not my man. He never was. See, you haven't forgotten how to lie to me. Don't call me a liar. What should I call you? Fuck you, shut up! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for my dog. We are men. Shall we keep our word? Here's to you, Sarko. Big deal. Here's to you, monk. Mm. Now we make a love movie. Mine, yours. Why don't you make it with Pete? It's Basmanian. We Basmanian men, we don't become men until we go mad. And it's the only way for us. He's not mad. But I'm crazy. And I'm mad. And you have a madness in you, too. Let me see. Let me see. The... <laughs> That's it. It's a good madness. I guess being crazy made me Armenian in Sako's eyes. That night, I drank like one, anyway.
fucking film is fucking up. It's um, there's such a buzz about it now with the dead film and the dead person and that. You know? Yeah, you're you know you're still supposed to be dead. Yeah, I'm the director that never died. I'm Elvis, but I've been sighted. You know? What happened to the whole uh, the script was a piece of shit. Oh, what happened oh. to that? The script is a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. No, cuz. You know what a film to put out? It's our baby. Learn fucking. Learn French, all right? Cuz. It's, um. It's, uh, your work she fell in love with, right? Not mine! Right? I mean, she's... she's... she's wrong, right? But, you know... she's French. Pete looked propped up, holding on to his words. Like if he let a silence fall, they would never end. He looked lonely out there. I think Pete loved us in his way. And despite all he had done, I loved him back. Casey. He has the negative. Really? There ain't no film in them cans. What? You know, the funny thing about donkey shit and film, it weighs just about exactly the same. Yeah, I heard him talking to some agent last night in the lobby phone! <laughs> Should have never called me Shemp. What's the matter with Shemp? Shemp did some pretty good work. I guess. You got the can, but you ain't got the negative in the can. Oh. Oh. Found this at the bar. Awful pretty, you should keep track of it. Psycho, light him up! Watch this, baby.
Smalls is dead. Dead? Deader than a dodo.